welcome to vlogmas day eight um i have something to do and i'm very nervous about it and um yeah i'm gonna take you with me uh and we'll see how it goes but for right now <laughs> i am very nervous so let's go Okay, we're back in the car now. That was actually really easy and really fast. The most, they, they, they were right. The most painful part was the freezing and it wasn't even that bad. Getting my belly button pierced was definitely worse than getting the freezing. Yeah, that was really good. The doctor was really cool. He was joking around with me. Well, I was kind of joking around with him, but <laughs> I was just talking when I get nervous and when I'm like trying to, um, I don't want to say disassociate from my body, but um, when some when someone's literally cutting off a piece of your skin, it's an interesting experience because you can still feel like the pulling and stuff. It doesn't hurt, but you can feel like the pulling, and it's freak kind of freaked me out. So I just kind of like kind of like what I'm doing now is just like talking, 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 and I was chit chatting with the other girl. So if you ever need anything done, re mole removal, it's not that scary. So um, yeah, I'm letting the car warm up for a minute. I'm gonna get rinsed when I pay for this one hour of parking probably and maybe I'll show you if it's not too like there's a little bit of dried blood so I don't know if I want to show you guys I just have a bandage on anyways but maybe I'll just wait till I take the bandaid off and shower um and then I can show you like my stitches and I don't even know what it looks like I just saw the bandaid so anyways we are off to our next destination let's go we're home now Honestly, I'm so tired. I made a few stops before coming home and now I'm just drained and I need lunch So I am about to make some lunch, but I thought I'd show you a um, little grocery haul of some things that I get from Superstore They have a few good items that we specifically go there for we don't usually go like We don't usually shop solely at Superstore, you know, so anyways On to the haul. So I really enjoy these hamburger buns I use them for any type of bun that I need. Um, they're really just a great staple bun. They're gluten-free. Um, I say they're accidentally vegan. Um, they don't say vegan, but they're super good. They're identical almost to, I think it's called the Northern Bake or Bakehouse or something like that. They're in a blue bag that are twice the price of these. So I like getting these when I can. Super delicious. And then I got for lunch, which is what I'm heating up some water for. Go quinoa. I'm pretty sure we had this once before and it was pretty good. Not the biggest portion, but that's why I got two. So vegan mac and cheese and it's certified gluten-free as well. So we're gonna have that for lunch. This is a staple in my baking kitchen. This butter I use for anything baking like cookies that calls for butter. I always use this brand. I never see anyone talk about this brand, but Melt, I really like it. I use it in buttercream as well. I needed more because whipped cream's just the best. This is very coconutty, but it's so good. Like we just, right from the can, uh, can't keep it in the house, but we need it for a special project that you'll see coming up soon. So I thought I'll grab another can now and hopefully we do the special thing soon. Oh yes, another thing I love from Superstore, the TC brand has mini chocolate chips and they are plant-based, um, certified vegan. And I mean, I don't see what kind of gluten would be in these, so I consider them gluten-free as well. <laughs> these are my favorite and they're the best price point that I found for chocolate chips that are dairy-free. Well, I might as well just show you, since we're here, my little bandage. Yeah, we'll see uh, when we, we'll see uh, what it looks like after I take the bandage off. Back to our haul. Um, another thing that I cannot find like anywhere is this brand of taco seasoning. It's called Simply Organic and it's seriously it's my favorite ever and i can only seem to find it at um superstore so i always usually buy like a couple and then of course i had to pick up some more tofu to this is the staple one i always buy 
uh, extra firm. And then one last thing that I want to show you, because the other stuff is just vegetables and stuff, is that I found, which I posted on my story the other day, is, but I found both of them. Da, 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 da. The Cadbury Plant Bar. Cadbury. I don't know how you guys say it. Eh. Salted caramel. We haven't tried this one yet, so I'm super excited that I found it, that it was at Superstore. And of course, the, what is this? Just chocolatey smooth. It's just like original. And I guess there's almonds in these. Um, Clay does have an almond allergy, but he ate a good portion of the chocolate bar last time, and I think he was fine. So, I mean, he doesn't like get anaphylactic. He just gets an upset stomach. So, um, I would say if you do have like a sensitivity to almonds, this probably is okay in reasonable portions. I mean, read the ingredients because it says they may contain milk and other allergens, but it's literally certified vegan. So that's, to me, it's weird that they would say it may contain milk, but um, it also says it may, oh, may contain also wheat. Okay. I didn't look at this one. No, I can't try this one. Okay. This salted caramel one, it says in the ingredients, the glucose syrup is from wheat. If you're gluten-free, do not eat the salted caramel one. I didn't even know, I just assumed. That's so sad. But anyways, this one's fine. This one is just a may contain, this one is a contains. So I guess that's just for clay and I'll eat this one. But those are my finds. If you can eat gluten, you're good to go. And that is a little bit of my haul today uh, from Superstore. And we're going to end the vlog here. I made some chili. Put a little diet of cheese in there, some little to tofu sour cream. And that is going to be my, that is my meal inspiration of the day for you guys. A uh, little homemade chili. I think I have the recipe up on my Instagram page, where do I vegan? So if you want to know how I make my chili, you can check that out. I'll make sure I put it in here. And um, yeah, I will see you tomorrow in the next vlog. Bye!